The University of South Carolina also referred to as UOFSC, USC, SC, South Carolina, or simply Carolina is a public, coeducational research university in Columbia, South Carolina, United States, with seven satellite campuses. Its campus covers over 359 acres 145 hectares in downtown Columbia not far from the South Carolina State House. The university is categorized by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching as having highest research activity. It has been ranked as an up and coming university by US News and World Report, and its undergraduate and graduate international business programs have ranked among the top 3 programs in the nation for over a decade. It also houses the largest collection of Robert Burns and Scottish literature materials outside Scotland, and the world's largest Ernest Hemingway collection. Founded in 1801 as South Carolina College, South Carolina is the flagship institution of the University of South Carolina system and offers more than 350 programs of study, leading to bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees from 14 degree granting colleges and schools. The University of South Carolina has a total enrollment of approximately 50,000 students, with over 34,000 on the main Columbia campus as of fall 2017 making it the largest university in the Carolinas. USC also has several thousand future students in feeder programs at surrounding technical colleges. Professional schools on the Columbia campus include business, engineering, law, medicine, pharmacy, and social work. Topic history Topic Foundation and early history The university was founded as South Carolina College on December 19, 1801, by an act of the South Carolina General Assembly initiated by Governor John Drayton in an effort to promote harmony between the Lowcountry and the Backcountry. On January 10, 1805, having an initial enrollment of nine students, the college commenced classes with a traditional classical curriculum. The first president was the Baptist minister and theologian Reverend Jonathan Maxey. He was an alumnus of Brown University, with an honorary degree from Harvard University. Before coming to the college, Maxey had served as the second president of Brown and the third president of Union College. Maxey's tenure lasted from 1804 through 1820. When South Carolina College opened its doors in 1801, the building now known as Rutledge College was the only building on campus. Located one block southeast of the state capitol, it served as an administrative office, academic building, residence hall, and chapel. However, the master plan for the original campus called for a total of 11 buildings, all facing a large lush gathering area. In 1807, the original president's house was the next building to be erected. The building now known as Desosure College followed shortly thereafter, and the remaining eight buildings were constructed over the next several decades. When completed, all 11 buildings formed a U-shape open to Sumter Street. This modified quadrangle became known as the Horseshoe. As with other southern universities in the antebellum period, the most important organizations for students were the two literary societies, the Clerosophic Society and the Euphradian Society. These two societies, which arose from a split in an earlier literary society known as the Philomathic, grew to encapsulate the majority of the student body from the 1820s onward. The college became a symbol of the South in the antebellum period as its graduates were on the forefront of secession from the Union. With the generous support of the General Assembly, South Carolina College acquired a reputation as the leading institution of the South and attracted several noteworthy scholars, including Francis Lieber, Thomas Cooper, and Joseph LeConte. Topic. Civil War and Reconstruction Seventy-two students were present for classes in January 1862 and the college functioned as best it could until a call by the Confederate government for South Carolina to fill its quota of 18,000 soldiers. A system of conscription would begin on March 20 for all men between the ages of 18 and 45, so on March 8 all of the students at the college volunteered for service in order to avoid the dishonor of having been conscripted. Despite the depletion of students, the professors issued a notice that the college would temporarily close and would reopen to those under 18. When the college reopened on March 17, only nine students showed up for classes and it became quite apparent to all that the college would not last past the end of the term in June. On June 25 with the consent of the state government, the Confederate authorities took possession of the college buildings and converted them into a hospital. After many unsuccessful attempts to reopen the college, the trustees passed a resolution on December 2, 1863, that officially closed the college. 
By February 1865, Sherman's army had reached the outskirts of Columbia and the college was spared from destruction by the Union forces because of its use as a hospital. In addition, a company of the 25th Iowa Volunteer Infantry Regiment was stationed at the campus on February 17 to protect it from harm and to thwart off pillaging Yankee soldiers. The Union Army took possession of the college on May 24, 1865, and although the future for the college appeared bleak with it under military control, General John Porter Hatch sent a letter on June 19 to the remaining professors at the college that it should reopen as soon as possible. The appointment of Benjamin Franklin Perry as Provisional Governor of South Carolina on June 30 by President Andrew Johnson restored civilian rule to the state. Perry reinstated the trustees to their positions and the board met on September 20 to authorize the college to reopen on the first Monday of January in 1866. In a message to the legislature in October, Perry sought to convert the college into a university because with the state in an impoverished situation, it would provide a more practical education. Little opposition developed to change the college into a university and bill to establish the University of South Carolina was passed by the General Assembly on December 19, 1865. The University Act of 1869 reorganized the university and provided it with generous financial support. An amendment was added to the act by W. J. Whipper, a black representative from Beaufort, that would prevent racial discrimination from the admissions policy of the university. The legislature further proved its seriousness towards racial equality by electing two black trustees to the governing board of the university on March 9, 1869. A normal school was established by the legislature on the campus of the university as well as a preparatory school since most of the black students of the state were ill-prepared for the academic work required at a university. In addition, to encourage enrollment by blacks, tuition and other fees were abolished. On October 7, 1873, Henry E. Hayne, the Secretary of State of South Carolina, became the first black student when he registered for the fall session in the Medical College of the University. <laughs> Campus The Horseshoe is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and most of its buildings reflect the federal style of architecture in vogue in the early days of the nation. Among them is the South Carolinian Library, which was designed by Robert Mills and is the first freestanding academic library in the United States. Over the years, the eleven original buildings on the Horseshoe survived a fire, an earthquake, and the Civil War, but in 1939, McKissick Museum replaced the original President's House. The President's House would eventually return to the Horseshoe after extensive remodeling of one of its original buildings, which was dedicated as such in 1952. During the 20th century, the campus began to spread out dramatically from the horseshoe. Today it includes the Student Union, 24 residence halls, numerous academic buildings, Longstreet Theater, the Coger Center for the Arts, the Carolina Coliseum, the Colonial Life Arena, Carolina Stadium, and various facilities for Olympic sports. Williams Bryce Stadium is located approximately one mile off campus. Recent additions to the campus are the Strom Thurmond Wellness and Fitness Center, the Greek Village, the Green Quad, the Honors College Residence Hall, the Public Health Research Center, the Inn at USC, the Colonial Life Arena and Carolina Stadium. Future plans also include a new home for the School of Law to be constructed in the block bounded by Gervais, Senate, Pendleton, and Bull Streets with construction scheduled to begin in 2013, and a new home for the Moore School of Business, currently under construction at the corner of Assembly and Green Streets. The campus continues to expand west toward the Congaree River in support of its research initiatives see below. Three separate sites, each specializing in its own research area, will initially cover 500,000 square feet 46,500 square meters spread over six city blocks and will eventually grow to 5 million square feet 465,000 square meters. This new district of campus, named Anavista, will mix university and private research buildings, parking garages, and commercial and residential units. At the center will be a public plaza called Foundation Square. The University of South Carolina also operates a transit system under parking services called Carolina Shuttle which operates seven routes and 14 buses including converted buses that use more energy-efficient biodiesel. The system operates during the fall and spring semesters, with limited operation during the summer, reading days, and holidays. Service is free to all USC students, faculty and staff. A new system called 
Kaki's Caravan was added in 2008 as a weekend service, shuttling students from main areas on campus to the local entertainment district Five Points. In 2011, Kaki's Caravan was shut down and replaced by a partnership with Checker Yellow Cab known as Carolina Cab. That offers students free rides from five points to their homes within five miles eight kilometers of campus. Topic. Points of interest The Horseshoe School of Law National Advocacy Center Close, Hip Building Thomas Cooper Library South Carolinian Library Maxi Monument Capstone House West Quad Green Quad Women's Quad Honors Residence The Inn at USC Russell House University Union Darla Moore School of Business USC Alumni Center Topic Arts and Culture Coger Center for the Arts Longstreet Theater McKissick Museum Education Museum W. Gordon Belser Arboretum Gibbs Green Topic Sports Williams Bryce Stadium Colonial Life Arena Carolina Stadium Stone Stadium Carolina Coliseum Carolina Softball Stadium at Beckham Field Strom Thurmond Wellness and Fitness Center Carolina Tennis Center Topic Academics Topic Admissions Classified as more selective, USC admitted 63% of those who applied to be freshmen in 2011. When admitting freshmen, the university puts emphasis on the rigor of high school study and scores on standardized test, SAT or ACT. It also considers class rank, extracurricular activities, and an optional personal statement. The average incoming freshman had a combined SAT score critical reading and math of 1199 and a GPA of 4.01. For the freshman enrollment of 2017, the average ACT and SAT scores were 27.3 and 1254, respectively, with an average GPA of 4.04. Topic South Carolina Honors College Founded in 1978, the South Carolina Honors College offers academically gifted undergraduates the advantages of a small liberal arts college with the resources and academic depth of a comprehensive research university. After gaining acceptance to the University of South Carolina, students must apply separately to the Honors College and demonstrate significant academic achievement. In 2014, entering freshmen had an average weighted GPA of 4.69 and an average SAT score critical reading and math of 1430. Over 400 courses are offered exclusively to honors college students. Students are required to complete a senior thesis under the direction of a faculty advisor in order to graduate from the college with honors. Since 1994, honors college students have won more than 278 national awards and fellowships. The SC Honors College offers housing for freshmen and sophomores in the new Honors College Residence Hall, on the former site of the university's Towers dormitories. Upperclassmen have the opportunity to live in the Honors Residence Hall or in Honors College student housing on the historic horseshoe. In March 2012, the SC Honors College was ranked number one among 50 public university honors colleges. Topic national rankings Asterisk Southern region includes South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Delaware, Maryland, District of Columbia, Virginia, West Virginia, Georgia and Florida. Topic research USC is one of 62 public and 32 private research institutions and the one of the two universities in South Carolina classified a research institution of very high research activity by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching. USC was awarded $230.2 million in research funding in the 2014 fiscal year, a record amount for the school and an increase of 4.5% over the year prior. During his tenure, former Carolina President John Palms articulated a Cathedrals of Excellence budgeting philosophy. Palms advocated the money from fundraising be channeled into USC's best programs, rather than spread the funds evenly. The strategy would pay off in the long term when these programs became nationally prominent, making a name for USC and attracting grant money. His primary goal was for the University of South Carolina to be admitted to the Association of American Universities, an association of the leading 62 research universities in the United States and Canada. 
Former President Andrew Sorensen raised even larger sums for research, including a $300 million grant for colorectal cancer. In the spirit of Palm's budget, the board of directors moved to transform university land on Assembly Street into an innovation district called Inavista that will develop four strengths, biomedicine, nanotechnology, environmental science and alternative fuels. Inavista is a partner development with the City of Columbia. The 200-acre campus will house offices and private research firms among the university offices and labs, as well as residences and retail. Anavista is planned to add 5 million square feet of floor space to the metro area and is intended to set Columbia on a more urban path. Current president, Harris Pastides, has a research background. His prior history with the university includes serving as the vice president for research and health sciences, executive director of the SC Research Foundation, dean of the Arnold School of Public Health, and as an epidemiology professor. His stated objectives on taking over the position included boosting academics, promoting research, and launching an ambitious fund raising campaign. In May 2009, USC was selected by the U.S. Department of Energy as one of 31 universities nationwide to house an Energy Frontier Research Center that is expected to bring $12.5 million in federal funding, the largest single award in the university's history, to the College of Engineering and Computing. President Pastides commented on the grant. This award solidifies the university's position as a leader in alternative fuel research. The University of South Carolina is a member of the SEC Academic Consortium. Now renamed the SECU, the initiative was a collaborative endeavor designed to promote research, scholarship and achievement amongst the member universities in the Southeastern Conference. The SECU formed its mission to serve as a means to bolster collaborative academic endeavors of Southeastern Conference universities. Its goals include highlighting the endeavors and achievements of SEC faculty, students and its universities and advancing the academic reputation of SEC universities. Student life Demographics Over 34,500 students attend the Columbia campus of the University of South Carolina, coming from all 46 South Carolina counties. In addition, students from all 50 states and more than 100 foreign countries are represented. Almost 16,000 students study at the regional campuses of the University of South Carolina system. Topic: Housing. The University of South Carolina campus is home to 25 residence halls, the most recently completed hall opened in the fall of 2011. The housing on campus is under the supervision of Department of Student Housing, and quality of life is enhanced through the Residence Hall Association, whose structure was determined by former President and Vice President Amanda Pippin and Steve Smith. University housing provides over 6,200 on-campus housing units. Most of these housing centers have rooms that are air-conditioned and offer phone and cable television outlets and data connections networked to the university mainframe with access to the Internet. Housing provides many types of living experiences on the campus. Some include family residents in the nine-story cliff apartments, where each apartment has a stove and refrigerator. Rent includes all utilities. Freshman housing, these centers, or residence halls, have layouts that maximize opportunities for student interaction. Freshman centers typically feature double rooms and a central bathroom on each floor per unit. Notable freshman centers include the 11-story Columbia Hall, 10-story Bates House and Patterson Hall, as well as South Tower which has 18 floors. Apartment-style units in the modern housing units, which are often referred to as the quads, are the most requested type of housing among upper-level students. All are air-conditioned featuring two, three, and four private bedroom floor plans with a living, dining area, kitchen, and bath. Undergraduates may choose housing in a specific, living and learning community. The concept is to create a better social and learning environment by housing students with similar academic or career interests together. 
Learning communities enhance students' living experience by providing active learning experiences, faculty-student interactions, and opportunities to explore diversity, community service, undergraduate research, and study abroad. Some of these centers are Maxey College, Capstone, and Preston Residential College. Nine-story Patterson Hall, with a capacity of approximately 600 freshmen, is Carolina's largest residence hall. The tallest and most notable landmark on the Columbia campus is the 18-story Capstone House. Top of Carolina Dining Room is on the 18th floor and was the only revolving restaurant on an American college campus. In the fall of 2004, the $29 million West Quad, now Green Quad opened and became one of only four in the world to be certified by the U.S. Green Building Council's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design lead program. The 172,000-square-foot complex includes three four-story buildings with the latest technology and environmental features for conserving water and energy and creating a healthier, greener environment for the 500 undergraduate students. West Quad, which was built with a significant amount of recycled materials, ranging from the cement blocks and copper roof to the interior carpet, is also intended to encourage students to learn more about their environment. Since campus academic enrollment exceeds the capacity of on campus housing, the university is adding more residence halls, most of which will be suite style. As a result, some students live in popular off-campus housing, including apartments at Green Crossing, the club at Carolina Stadium, Point West, College Suites, Riverside Estates, University Commons, the Wilshire House at Union Station, Whaley's Mill now the Loft, Granby Mill, and Garnet River Walk, houses in the Shandon, Rosewood, and Olympia areas of Columbia, and off-campus housing provided by Greek organizations. Topic. Student government. USC's student government is composed of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches. A 50-member student senate is led by the student body vice president. The student senate enacts referendums, resolutions, and bills to enhance the student body in non-academic fields, maintains a budget for student life programs and organizations, confirms nominations for cabinet positions, and makes recommendations for change within the university. Student government is operated entirely by students with a constitutional council its version of a Supreme Court and elections commission. Authority derives from the student government constitution, a document written and adopted with the inception of student government and overseen by the President of the University of South Carolina and the University's Board of Trustees. Topic. Organizations Students may participate in any of the 540 registered student organizations. Carolina Productions is a student organization responsible for providing diverse educational programs, entertainment, and special events for the university. It is composed of seven commissions, each of which concentrates on separate programming. Honor societies include Alpha Epsilon Delta, Alpha Lambda Delta, Alpha Phi Sigma, Beta Alpha Psi, Carolina Scholars Association, Chi Sigma Iota, Eta Sigma Delta, Gamma Beta Phi, Golden Key, Kappa Delta Epsilon Society, McNair Scholars Association, Mortar Board, Mu Sigma Rho, National Residence Hall Honorary, National Society of Collegiate Scholars, Omicron Delta Kappa, Order of Omega, Phi Alpha Theta, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Lambda Sigma, Phi Sigma Pi, Pi Tau Sigma, Psi Chi, Rho Chi, Sigma Alpha Lambda, Sigma Delta Pi, Sigma Iota Rho, Tau Sigma, and Tau Beta Pi. Professional organizations include Kappa Kappa Psi National Band Fraternity, Phi Delta Epsilon, Academy of Student Pharmacists, Alpha Kappa Psi, American Marketing Association, Delta Sigma Pi, Gamecock Pre-Veterinary Association, Global Business Council, Library and Information Science Student Association, Phi Alpha Delta, Public Relations Student Society of America, Social Work Student Association, Men in Nursing, Student Nurses Association, American Society of Civil Engineers, Biomedical Engineering Society, Phi Beta Lambda, Theta Tau, Society of Women Engineers, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, among others. 
Religious organizations include Canterbury Community, the Episcopal Church, Christian Legal Society, Baptist Collegiate Ministry, Campus Crusade for Christ, Chi Alpha, Assemblies of God, Christ Student Church, Church of Christ, Hillel, Jewish Lutheran Campus Ministry, Methodist Student Network, Muslim Students Association, Orthodox Christian Fellowship, Presbyterian USA Student Association, The Navigators, Reformed University Fellowship, Presbyterian Church in America, St. Thomas More Catholic Community, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, Student Christian Fellowship, St. Theodore's Anglican Chapel, and Kappa Upsilon Chi. Minority and international student organizations include Association of African American Students, Students Allied for Latin America, Bisexual, Gay, Lesbian and Straight Alliance, Black Graduate Student Association, LASSO Latin American Student Organization, Hellenic Student Organization, NAACP, Brothers of Nubian Descent, Ethnic Student Ministries, Indian Cultural Exchange, Indian Student Association, International Student Association, Nihon Club, Fellowship Association of Chinese Students and Scholars, Taiwanese Students Association, Thai Students Association, Turkish Student Association, Vietnamese Student Association, Filipino American Student Association, SEED, Secular Student Alliance at USC, Society of Black Engineers, Hindu Students Council, and African American Male Institute. Other organizations include choral groups, concert band, the Carolina Debate Union, the USC Mock Trial Team, dance, drama, theater, jazz band, the Mighty Sound of the Southeast, music ensembles, musical theater, the anime club NASHI, creators of the annual event NASHI Con, garnering over 1,000 attendees annually to the university, opera, pep band, symphony orchestra, and the campus radio station. Students can also join the Reserve Officers Training Corps ROTC or participate in any of the local projects sponsored by Habitat for Humanity. Topic: Media. The Daily Gamecock is an editorially independent student newspaper founded in 1908 that is published Monday through Friday during the fall and spring semesters and nine times during the summer, with the exception of university holidays and exam periods. It has a readership of more than 30,000 and is distributed across the university campus and regional campuses in the USC system. The student-run radio station, WUSC, began broadcasting on the AM dial in 1947. In January 1977 WUSC began broadcasting on the FM dial, and in 1982 the station found its current home at 90.5 FM. In June 2006, WUSC upgraded to a current digital transmitter and are now broadcasting in HD radio. WUSC-FM was one of the first stations in the state to broadcast in HD and recently made history by being the first station in the state to broadcast in HD too. Students also publish a literary magazine, Garnet and Black, which was formed in 1994 as a consolidation of the university's former yearbook and its literary magazine. The magazine focuses on timely issues and trends of student interest and regularly offering tidbits on current events and a create section showcasing students' literature and artwork. It is published four times a year and is free to students at many locations across the Carolina community. USC established its first television station in the fall 2006, Student Government Television SGTV. It was funded by student government until April 2007 when student government released SGTV to the Department of Student Media, which also operates the Daily Gamecock, Garnet and Black Magazine and WUSC-FM. It was then that the station changed its name to its current name, Student Gamecock Television SGTV. SGTV airs student-created content 24-7 that can be seen on Campus Cable Channel 4. It can also be watched live off-campus during the academic year on its website. SGTV strives to provide original, informative and entertaining programming while serving as an outlet for student work. Topic Greek organizations About 18% of the male student body and 28% of the female student body participate in Greek organizations. SC.edu Greek life is governed by an internal body that is called the Greek Council. There are two separate councils, one for males and another for females, that oversee activities and recruitment for fraternities and sororities on campus. The organizations hold two rush classes for the fall and spring semesters. The Greek organizations are heavily involved on campus with community service projects and spirit contests. 
The University of South Carolina also has four musical Greek organizations, Kappa Kappa Psi, Tau Beta Sigma, Phi Mu Alpha, and Sigma Alpha Iota. There are two service sororities, Epsilon Sigma Alpha and Omega Phi Alpha There is one service fraternity, Alpha Phi Omega. There are four co-ed professional fraternities on campus, Alpha Kappa Psi, Delta Sigma Pi, Sigma Omega Upsilon, and Theta Tau. The most prominent features of Greek life at the university are the large, mostly Greek revival-style mansions maintained by the national fraternities and sororities as chapter houses. Lining Lincoln Street, Gadsden Street, and Mark Bike Way are the houses referred to as the Greek Village. All students who live in these residences are members of a sorority or fraternity, and while the properties are managed by the university, each house is privately owned by a fraternity or sorority. The following chart is a list of the 20 fraternities and sororities with houses in the Greek Village. Topic recreation Students tend to socialize off campus in Five Points and the Congaree Vista. Both of these areas are within walking distance of campus and offer restaurants, bars, cafes, and a variety of local entertainment. Lake Murray and the Three Rivers Saluda River, Broad River, and Congaree River around Columbia offer students many recreational activities. The South Carolina coast, Charleston, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, Hilton Head, is only a 1.5 to 2 hour drive for additional recreational activities. Topic athletics The university offers club, intramural, and varsity sports. Its 19 varsity sports teams compete in the Southeastern Conference except for men's soccer which competes in Conference USA and women's sand volleyball which competes as an independent and are known as the Gamecocks. The Gamecocks have won 10 national team championships, 2017 NCAA championship in women's basketball, 2010 and 2011 NCAA championships in baseball, 2002 NCAA championship in women's outdoor track and field, 2005, 2007, and 2015 national championships in women's equestrian, and 2005, 2006, and 2007 hunt seat national championships in women's equestrian. Also, the men's and women's track and field teams have produced many NCAA individual champions, world championship medalists, and Olympic medalists. The baseball and basketball teams have also produced Olympic medalists. Other significant accomplishments include 2010 SEC Eastern Division champions in football, NCAA runner-up four times in women's track and field 2000, 2001, 2003, 2005, NCAA runner-up four times in baseball 1975, 1977, 2002, 2012, 1993 NCAA runner-up in men's soccer, 2005 and 2006 NIT champions in men's basketball, and the 1980 Heisman Trophy trophy winner George Rogers. See the grid at the main article for other championships. Topic fight song and alma mater Notable among a number of songs commonly played and sung at various events such as commencement, convocation, and athletic games are, The Fighting Gamecocks Lead the Way, The USC Fight Song and We Hail Thee Carolina, the university's alma mater. Topic fight song USC band director James Pritchard obtained a band arrangement of the Elmer Bernstein pen song Step to the Rear from the Broadway musical Hanau, Dow Jones in 1968 and the marching band played the song at the first game of the 1968 season. It caught the ear of coach Paul Dietzel who contacted Pritchard about making it the official fight song of the university to replace the original Carolina fight song or Carolina Let Your Voices Ring, now called the Old Fight Song. Dietzel wrote the lyrics for the song, but asked that he remain anonymous because knowledge that the football coach wrote the lyrics might render it unacceptable to the basketball program. The song was officially introduced on November 16, 1968, prior to the football game against Virginia Tech and has been the fight song since the fall of 1969. Topic Alma Mater The Gamecock reported in its March 1911 issue that very little progress had been made on the Alma Mater for the university despite a reward of $50 by the faculty. English professor, George A. Washope, took it upon himself and wrote the lyrics for the Alma Mater in 1911 set to the tune Flow Gently, Sweet Afton by Robert Burns. Other songs were written and sung, but Washope's song proved to be the most popular and it was adopted by the university in 1912. The tradition has developed that alumni raise their right hand as though raising a cup for the phrase, Here's a health, Carolina, as if offering a toast. Topic recent accomplishments Since 1994 students have won 383 national fellowship and scholarship competitions totaling more than $11.4 million for advanced academic study. 
Included are seven selections to the USA Today All Academic Team and nearly 150 Marshall, Rhodes, Truman, National Science Foundation, Fulbright, Goldwater, Madison, Cook, Javits, Udall, and Knowles Science Teaching Fellows and Scholars, among others. During the 2007–08 academic year alone, South Carolina students won 31 awards and more than $1.3 million. USC was listed as number nine among the nation's most promising and innovative schools by U.S. News & World Report. The first-time category is based on promising, innovative changes in academics, faculty, students, facilities or the campus. On June 30, 2010, USC won the national championship in Division I baseball at the College World Series, defeating UCLA at Rosenblatt Stadium in Omaha. Sophomore center fielder Jackie Bradley Jr. was named the College World Series Most Outstanding Player. On October 9, 2010, USC defeated the top-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide by a score of 35-21 at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. ESPN's College Game Day football broadcast live from Old Campus District, University of South Carolina on the Carolina campus during the morning hours before the game. This is the first time in the university's history that the football team has defeated a top-ranked opponent. On November 13, 2010, Carolina traveled to Gainesville, FL and defeated the Florida Gators 36-14 to clinch the SEC Eastern Division football title. This marked the school's first trip to the SEC championship game in Atlanta since the University of South Carolina joined the SEC in 1992. On June 28, 2011, USC won the national championship in Division I baseball at the College World Series, defeating Florida at TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha. Second baseman Scott Wingo was named the College World Series Most Outstanding Player. The Gamecocks also set records for most consecutive College World Series wins 11 and the most consecutive NCAA tournament wins 16 in the victory. In 2012, the South Carolina Honors College was ranked the number one honors college in the nation, according to a review of 50 public university honors programs. In the 2013-2014 season USC's women's basketball team won their first SEC regular season championship and secured the program's first ever number one seed in the NCAA tournament. In 2013, the university was selected by the estate of Elmore Leonard to become the repository of an archive of the author's papers and personal effects. In July 2014, it was announced that USC placed the most student-athletes on the 2013-14 SEC academic honor roll of any of the 12 schools in the conference. The Gamecocks led the SEC with 336 student-athletes on the list, followed by second-place University of Georgia with 290. To be named to the list, a student athlete must have maintained a 3.0 grade point average on the fall, winter, spring or first year academic honor rolls, or a cumulative GPA at or above 3.0. In the 2016-2017 season USC's women's basketball team was awarded a number one seed in the NCAA tournament for the fourth consecutive year. The Gamecocks would go on to defeat Mississippi State in the tournament final to capture the program's first national championship. Senior Ah Wilson received the Naismith College Player of the Year Award, and was selected by the Las Vegas Aces with the first pick in the 2018 WNBA Draft. In 2017, the men's basketball team competed in the NCAA Tournament as the number 7 seed in the East Region. The Gamecocks reached the Sweet 16 by upsetting number 2 seed Duke, and for the first time in school history, they reached the Elite 8 by beating number 3 seed Baylor and the Final Four by beating number 4 seed Florida. Notable people Topic. People The university has over 250,000 living alumni, and since 1801, millions have attended the school. Topic. Presidents During its more than 200-year history, the university has had 27 presidents. The Board of Trustees announced the selection of Harris Pastides as the 28th President on July 11, 2008. Topic. Board of Trustees 
Since its charter in 1801, the university has been governed by a board of trustees, which now governs the entire USC system. Topic: Photo gallery. Topic: See also. The first year experience program. University of South Carolina Library. Topic. References. Topic. Further reading. Hollis, Daniel Walker, 1951. University of South Carolina, Volume One, South Carolina College, Columbia, University of South Carolina Press. Hollis, Daniel Walker, 1956. University of South Carolina, Volume Two, College to University, Columbia, University of South Carolina Press. Topic. External links. Official website. South Carolina Athletics website. University of South Carolina. Collier's New Encyclopedia, 1921. University of South Carolina. The New Student's Reference Work, 1914. South Carolina College. New International Encyclopedia, 1905.